church say amen. Let the church say amen. Amen, 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 amen. It's good to see you this morning. Amen. Amen. Do we have any persons visiting with us for the first time this morning? Anyone visiting with us for the first time this morning? Well, would you stand and just give us your name, your church affiliation? Morning Star. All right, Sister Roundtree. Is there anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Well, thank you for coming and visiting with us this morning. Where we at? Oh, first time. Would you stand and give us our, your, your church name and, and where you were from? Where's Karen? I can't see you, Karen. She's standing up in the back. Oh. She didn't sit down. She was just standing up. Right. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Go ahead. Oh, okay. You don't have a home church yet? You can have one. You can have one. Yes, she took the words out of my mouth. You can have one today. On behalf of our pastor, Pastor Block and Sister Blocker, we thank you so much. And the Macedonia Baptist Church family, we love you and we thank you for coming. Please come again. Amen. And if you want to join, this is a wonderful place to learn and praise the Lord. Amen. amen. Let the church say amen. Amen. few announcements here. Give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. 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 Uh, don't forget uh, our 365 building fund. Uh, drive is one dollar per day for 365 days amen and please that 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 fundraising is still going on okay also if you join the church in 2022 23 uh, and 24 please please join our new member orientation class which is held on Sunday morning at nine o'clock also if you if your address has changed your phone number has changed please let our finance office and our secretary office know if there's been some changes in your address and number so we can kind of keep up with you. Amen? Amen. Now, if anyone would like to volunteer uh, with Trinity Hospice, please see sis Sister Ashley Collins. Is Ashley here today? Ashley, raise your hand. And, and she's looking for volunteers and, uh, in that hospice ministry. Amen? All right. Today is July what? 14th. Okay, and we're going to have friends and what? Family day. Amen. At 1 o'clock, and the Reverend Victor Thomas, uh, pastor of the Greater Mount Canaan Baptist Church, he will be our guest speaker. We're going to have any food? Really? All right, we're going we're gonna to have some food. That means you don't even have to cook today. Somebody say amen. Amen, amen, amen. Now, Wednesday, if you are traveling to Charleston with the church on Wednesday, please be at the church. Be at the church. Amen. Be at the church amen. at 7. Not coming to the church, but what? At the church. And that's for those who are going on the Charleston trip on the 17th, which is this coming Wednesday. Also, on the 25th of July, uh, Mount Zion Baptist Church at, at Hammond Circle, the Deacon Deaconess Trustee Anniversary uh, will be held there, and Pastor Blocker and the Macedonia Baptist Church will be in charge of that anniversary. Amen? Amen. Also, there will be an outreach ministry meeting immediately after church on that same Sunday. Amen? Also, don't forget that the, on July 28th, the executive board, and that's the trustees, the deacon, deaconess, finance office, and everybody who's in charge of anything. Amen? We got a meeting right after church. Amen? Okay. Amen? Amen. 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 Please, please, please. It's a very important meeting, and Pastor going to... Uh, uh, emphasize it a little bit more as, as, as we go on with the day. Also, remember, on July 28th, also, we're going to have our back-to-school bash. Amen? Ain't nobody excited but you, sister. Somebody say amen. All right. 
and, and Evangelist Burton is in charge of that, and we're gonna we're gonna make sure our children get a wonderful, wonderful start for the fall year. Amen. Amen. And don't forget Sunday school at nine o'clock. Bible study is out, but we'll be back in August. Amen. Amen. And don't forget our prayer line, which is uh, our prayer line on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Amen. Amen. Pastor. Oh, and Macedonia, don't forget that um, Science Hill. Science Hill is having a summer revival. And uh, Monday, July 29th, and they're asking us to participate. Amen. Science Hill. Amen. Let us let us give God some praise today. We come today to celebrate Jesus for who he is. Amen. Every blood washed believer who believe that, that Jesus is, you ought to stand to your feet right now and give him your most undignified praise. Amen. Amen. If he did anything for you. And you're a blood-washed believer, you ought to give him some praise today. If God has brought you through anything, you ought to really praise him. Praise him. Give it to him, y'all. He deserves all your praise. Hallelujah. Could have been the other way, but you're here today. I'm excited. And you know, the hellhounds been on your back all week long. But you made it to this place today. And whatever got you bound, you can leave it right here. All those who have despitefully used you. Those who have lied on you. Those who have misused you for their own gain. You come here today, you leave it right here. If you need peace today, you can find it right here. If you need joy, you can find it right here. Some of us are just, just weighed down and burdened down with life issues. And we have a, a comforter called the Holy Ghost. And if we tap in and, de and develop that relationship with Jesus Christ, I say Jesus Christ, he will lift your burdens. He's the comforter. He stick closer than a brother. He's a mother to the motherless. And he's a father to the fatherless. So with that being said, we ought to praise him. We can't praise him enough. We can't praise him for what he did out on Calvary. Am I right about it? Amen, amen. You may be seated. You may be seated. I just got one, one or two things I want to say to reiterate what Reverend Andrews said. On the 28th, um, myself and the executive team are going to meet because I understand that um, you might be wondering what's going on. Well, we're going to tell you. But I want to talk to the executive team before we bring it to the church body. A lot of things that, that take place and what we're trying to do, um, it's in the hands of City Hall. So we have, we have no jurisdiction over what they do. But I keep trudging and I, and I check every week and I go down every week. See, behind the scenes, it's a lot of work. You don't see it and we can't, we can't turn no tree over until we get our permits from City Hall. Now, some people say, well, Pastor, how are we going to do that? We walk by faith and not by sight. Because Hebrews 11 and 1 says, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. It also says, faith without works is dead. Y'all ain't going to talk to me today. But I just want to lift that up and... Um, and ease your mind by where your money at. We got every receipt of, of every dime we have spent um, on our on our project. Amen. Also, also, I want to lift up our sick and our shut-in list. Um, let us pray for Deacon Herbert and Deaconess Doris Terry, Deacon Arthur Terry, 
and Deacon Alvin and Evelyn Lowe, uh, Deaconess Viola Henderson. Has anyone heard? I knew she was in the hospital last week. I'll check on her. I don't know who a deacon is. I think that's Deacon Williams. Okay. So um, also Brother Daryl Dandy, Sister Carla Curry, Sister Flossie Halls, Sister Vivian Tompkins, Sister Charlene Overton, and Brother Robert Smith. Y'all pray for those persons at your leisure time. Amen. And my daughter, she came to visit us this week. And we was in the hospital all night last night to early this morning, about five this morning. Y'all pray for us. Amen. Pray for me. Sometimes, you know, I get tired. I get weary. And sometimes I think I want more for the church than the church wants for themselves. And that's a daunting task to keep you encouraged, especially when you don't see things. Kind of like Thomas. He didn't believe until he felt and saw something. He felt the nail prints in his hands and his side, but then he saw Jesus. That's when he began to believe. Y'all, if you don't believe in, in, in the ministry, believe what Jesus Christ can do. What he done for others, he'll do it for us too. Amen? Amen. Good morning, church. Good morning. I ask if you would please stand following the, facing the wall, following the guidance of the ushers as we do tithes and offerings. Let us all stand for our doxology. Praise God. Praise God from the said thank you. Yes, thank you. Father, I thank you for all of your many blessings. Yes, 
Oh, Father, you've been good to me. Uh, uh, and I come just to say thank you. I didn't come for no form or fashion. Uh, say no show to the outside world, Father. I come because I need you. Realize, Father, you don't need me, Father, but I need you. That's yeah. it. Uh, I'm calling on you right now, Father. Uh, and oh, Lord, uh, Father said in your word, uh, you will be with us through thick and thin. Uh, and you will never leave us, Father. Uh, and oh, Lord, uh, Father, I have sinned. Show your glory. Uh, but it's time. Uh, and I thank you, Father. Uh, thank you for this offer, Father. I ask you to bless each and every one that came in this offer. I ask you to bless in Jesus' name. And thank God and say amen. God. It says, I will enter into his gates with thanksgiving and enter Amen. into his courts with praise. Yes, Lord. Come on and help us to praise him today as we sing, oh, yes. God is able to do. Yes, yes, if yes. you know the song, please join in with us. This yes. is a praise and worship. All you right. you all are welcome to participate. So help us sing the song. Yes, yes, yes. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Yes. He's gonna fulfill 
they come to worship today. We serve a God who's able to turn it in your face. Thank you, God. Yes. Yes. Joseph said everything that they meant for my bad. God turned it for my good. Somebody ought to give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. He's able. Hallelujah, God. He's able. Hallelujah, God. I tried it. Thank you, God. I tried it, my Lord. Somebody ought to commit their life to the Lord today. Praise God. Hallelujah, God. I know it. Somebody out there struggling and going through. Thank you, God. Bound up, wound up. Depressed. Don't know which way to turn. But I dare you today to just tell the Lord, I am yours. Lord, everything that I have, everything that I am, I am yours, Lord. And watch him work it for your good. Just tell him, I'm yours, Lord. I'm yours, Lord. I'm yours, Lord. Lord. You made me. You know every hair on my head. I'm yours, I'm yours, everything I've got, everything I am, and everything I'm not, I'm yours. Won't be 
to go, Lord. I do what you want me to do, Jesus. Lord, try me, Jesus. Lord, I do what you want me to do, Lord. If you need, need somebody, Lord. Lord, here I am. Lord, here I am, Jesus. I stretch my hands to you, Jesus. Jesus bent his cross alone and all this world go free but there's a cross for everyone I know, I know there's one somewhere for me Lord, try me Jesus I need to try him now. Come on, let's try him. I dare you to try him. Oh, he been, he been there for me. He been good to me. He been good to you too. Come on, somebody try him. Just turn your will over to his will. Oh, ask him to line it up. Line it up this morning. Try him and see. Try him and see. Whatever you're going through, just give it to him. Try him and see. Whatever you desire, try him and see. Hallelujah. Your breakthrough is in your praise. Your breakthrough is in your praise. Hallelujah. He is the only one. He is the only one. He is the way. He is the truth. And he is the life. Every knee must bow and every tongue shall confess, Lord Jesus. Try him and see. Confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. That God is raising from the dead. Try him and see. Whatever your issue is, give it to him. Your breakthrough. Try him, try him, try him and see. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody come on, give him praise. Give him praise. His Holy Spirit is in this place. Y'all give it to him. Give it to him. Give him what he deserves. He deserves your praise. If you don't try him in the work, he brought you through this and he brought you through that. Praise him. Tell that old bad spirit to get out of here. You can't get your breakthrough because you got some things standing in the way. You heavy burden. You got a bad spirit. You got you got an art against your brother, or your sister. You need your breakthrough. Trying. 
Lord, I messed up. I made some bad choices. Give it to him. We've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Amen. It's time. It's time now. It's time. It's time. We better go a little higher. We better go a little higher. Y'all ready? Say, Reverend Thurman. Preach the word. Reverend Thurman. Preach the word. Amen. Our preacher for the day, Reverend Thomas Thurman. Amen. Peace be unto you, my sisters and brothers, from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Oh, it's such an honor to be here standing where Reverend Blocker stands. God has gifted him as his position, and he's just lending to me for a short while to teach and to preach as God directed me to. And we just thank him. We give honor to God, to the Father, and to the Son, the Son who came down through 42, 40 and two generations to bring us, to save us from this world of sin, this world of destruction. We just thank him for what he has done Hallelujah. for us. Sounds good. Oh, give honor to you, Reverend Blocker. We thank you. We thank you. Amen. Reverend Andrews and all the ministers, and to their wives, and to their, for their first husbands, we just thank you. We honor you. We honor you, Deacon Styles and all the deacons, Amen. and everyone that support the church. We honor you. All people, members, friends, urchers, all care ministry. We don't have a care ministry anymore, but we honor them too when we need them. Because they are always there and ready to work when we want them to work. We just give them honor also. And then we honor, I honor my wife, Amen. Mrs. Thurman. We just thank God for her. Amen. Father God, we truly thank you for this opportunity, Father God, that you forgive me that you have given me to practice my preaching and my teaching, Father God. That the word that you, that you have poured into me, Father God, Father God, let them pour out of me into your children, Father God. My sisters and brothers, Father God, I pray that they, re they receive what you've given me, Father God, and carry it back into the community where we can help someone else, Father God, that need help, Father God. We just thank you for this opportunity, Father God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Um, my scripture uh, will you please stand for the scripture? My scripture will be coming from Matthew. Matthew. 45 through 50. Matthew 27, 45 through 50. Now begin reading. 45. Now, from the sixth hour, there was darkness all over the land, unto the ninth hour. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabbatin thena. That is to say, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Some of them that stood there, when, he, when they heard that, said, this man called it for Elijah, Elias, which is Elijah. And straightway one of them ran and took a sponge and filled it with vinegar and put it on a reed and gave him to drink. The rest said, let be, let's see whether Elias will come, or will save him. And Jesus, when he had cried again with the live voice, yield up the ghost. He died for you and I. Lord, My brothers and sisters, come on, in Christ, let us reflect on the most profound event in human history, the death of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, on the cross. He did this for us. The, this moment is the cornerstone of our faith, the act of ultimate love and sacrifice that he did for us. He changed the course of history and the destiny of mankind. We were destined for the pit, the fiery pit. But Jesus, love, death, and resurrection saved us from that pit and gave us eternal life of all those that believe. The ultimate sacrifice is my scripture. The ultimate sacrifice. Yes, the author of, of, of Matthew's, the book itself is anonymous. They really don't know whether Matthew wrote it or not, but a lot of, a lot of theologians say he, he wrote it. And the, uh, the disciples 
and he was a disciple of Jesus Christ, the tax collector. Jesus' death was not an unexpected, unexpected tragedy, but the fulfillment of ancient prophecies by God himself. This was planned by God and his son, our Lord and Savior. He was with God long in the beginning. He was with the Father. The Word was with the Father, and the Word was God. Long ago that he would die for us. Isaiah 53 and 5 read, but he was wounded for our transgressions, oh, yeah. for our sin. Yes, he was wounded for the transgressions. He was bruised for the iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. Right. And with his stripes, oh, with those yeah, beatings, yeah. we are healed. Right. Every detail of his suffering was a deliberate, deliberate part of God's redemptive plan for mankind, oh, for right. you and I. The cross is the ultimate demonstration of God's love for humanity. It's as John 3.16 tells us, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall never shall not perish but have eternal life, life without end. From the beginning back yonder, way back, whenever, until somewhere out in the future. That life is forever. Your life can you would have never died, never died. Jesus willingly endured the agony of the cross because of his boundless love for each of us. He loved us so much. Jesus took upon himself the punishment that we deserve for our sin, the things that we have done. He died for them. 2 Corinthians 5, 21 explains this. God made him who had no sin, his only begotten sin, son, to be the sin for us all, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God Lord, in him, in Jesus. Your faith must be in Jesus as to what he did for you upon that cross, what he did on that awful day. We said awful, but really it should be a joyous day because he gave us eternal life. God don't want us moaning and groaning about what happened because God did it with us. God did it with joy. And we both accept it with joy. His sacrifice bridged the gap between a holy God and a in, in a sinful humanity, sinful humanity, offering us forgiveness and reconciliation. What do I mean by this? Sin caused us to lose connection with God, huh? But Christ's death, resurrection, and love caused us to be reconnected with the Father. We are reconnected and have eternal life. If, they, if that's a condition now, if you believe in him, if you believe what he has done for you, Jesus' death was not the end, but the beginning of victory. Colossians 2, 14 and 15 says this, proclaim this, having canceled the, the, char the charge of our legal indebtedness, which stood against us and condemned us, huh? he has taken it away, nailing it to the cross, and having disarmed the powers and authorities, he made a public, public spectacle of them, triumphant over them by the cross. So what are you saying? Watch this. Through his death, Jesus defeated the power of sin and death, which is Satan. Satan is death. Anytime you see you take it up before death, that means you take it up before Satan. That is sin. And God and Jesus, because of what he did on the cross, he already destroyed dead Satan. Satan is a dead man walking. You follow Satan, you follow the losing person. He's not going to win. He's already dead. He granted us the promise of eternal life of all that believe. You have the promise of eternal life. All you got to believe. Some people say, I don't have to do anything. God already did it for me. No, it's a condition. You got to believe. You got to believe. The appropriate response to John's disciples is heartfelt gratitude, praise, and worship. We must never take for granted the immense, immense price he paid for our salvation. Let us continue offering, offer our praise to him. We should always worship and praise him. That should be a whole lot of shouting, shouting and, and, and singing in this church. Even down the highway, when you're by yourself, you should be praised, raise some praises to God for what he has done for us. But through service, and also through service, we should be worshiping him. And, and live out our lives in love of him and his, in our love for him and our love for each other. Jesus' death called us to repent 
in faith and, and have faith. Repent and have faith in him. Acts 319 urges, repent you therefore and be converted, huh? That your sins may be blotted out, wiped out of the book of life. It's, it's two books now. One is a book of life, and the one is a book of evilness. You don't want your book, you don't want your name in that other book. You want your name in the book of life. Huh? You want all your sin wiped out. When God opened that book, you want to see righteous things that you have accomplished. How you have helped and served others. How you have loved others. When the, when the time of promise come, come, the refreshing come, God wants us to be ready. He wants that book to be clean. All he has to do is uh, open that book and say, oh, good, and we are done, my good and faithful servant. That's what you want to hear. You don't want, you want to hear him say, to the pit. You don't want to hear him say that. For the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord, because he is the one, he's the final judge. The God himself is the final judge. Yes. And that's going to happen. Everyone got to stand before him. Your judgment could be good. It could be, it could be eternal life. Or it could be the pit. Except for his sacrifice means turning away from, from sin and place our trust and faith in him. Right. After receiving of his love, we are called to reflect that love to others. Oh. We should show love every time we walk through those doors, every time we walk down the street. Where we meet people, it should be a smile on our face. We should be happy. People should never know that you're in some kind of mourning. Mourning for what? Oh, my pain, my leg hurts so bad, I can't do nothing. Be happy. Be happy you're here to have the pain. You have a chance to get it right. Amen. Ephesians 5 and 2 instructs us to walk in love That's right. as Christ also has loved us and has given himself for us in offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling Savior. Watch this. Our lives should mark, be marked by selfless love and serving others, following the example of our Lord and Savior. Your choice. You can make the choice. Choose right. In my conclusion, the death of Jesus on the cross is the heart of our faith, the heart of our faith, the ultimate act of love and sacrifice. As we contemplate the significance of his crucifixion, let us be moved to live lives that honor and sacrifice Christ, that honor, that honor his sacrifice. That's right. May we embrace the forgiveness he That's offers, right. That's right. walk in the newness of life that he provides, and share his love with a world that is desperate, a world that is desperate for the need of his grace and mercy. You know, after what happened last night with, with our ex-president, all these things that's going on in the world, we in desperate need. We in desperate need of people to go out and carry forth God's word. Go ye therefore and take forth the word. That's what he says in Matthew 28. Go ye therefore and teach my word. We should be taking the word out to everyone. I'm going to end with prayer. Heavenly Father, we stand in you, you of the incredible love you demonstrated through the death of your son, your only begotten son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for the sacrifice that has redeemed us, forgiven us, and given us new life. Help us to live in a manner worthy of your great gift, reflecting your love to everyone we meet. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Come on, come on. Reverend Thurman told us about the ultimate sacrifice. The ultimate plain practical and portable. The ultimate sacrifice. It's called love. And he told us about the two books. I don't know about you, but I want my name written down in the Lamb's Book of Life. I asked him to blot out all my sins. And I'm standing on behalf of you that he blot out all your sins. Because Jesus came down from 40 and two generations Am I right about it? To sacrifice his life for you and I. He took on many things that belong to us. But our God knew that we couldn't handle it. So he sent his son, Jesus. Put him in a barred tomb. We know he was led from judgment hall to judgment hall. 
we knew he hung from the sixth to the ninth hour. But when they put him in Joseph Bard tomb, now Deacon Styles, it was barred because they knew Jesus wasn't going to stay there long. God knew. But on the third day morning, that third day morning, I say the third day morning, he rose with all power and authority in his hands. So that's the reason for us to praise him today. Amen. He sacrificed the ultimate sacrifice. Just let the devil know the next time he come in your presence that he is a dead man walking. You have no power over me because I'm wrapped up, tied up, bound up in the love of Jesus. He loved me. Am I right about it? Now, Reverend Andrew is going to open the doors of the church and Minister Feld is going to do our altar call prayer. And thank you for the word, Reverend Herman. Amen. The doors of the church are open. <clears throat> the gospel message That Jesus died on Calvary's cross, motivated by the love of the Father. And now there's this opportunity to give your heart, to give your life to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We couldn't have heard a more clear message of the love of God through Jesus the Christ that he took upon the sins of the world, died on Calvary's cross, and early on Sunday morning, he got up so that you can have a right relationship with the God that created you. Somebody ought to be praising God right now. You can join this church by letter. You can join by statement. You can join under watch care. And even if this is not a place that you want to be, we'll make sure that we help you find a place where you can hear a clear word of the Lord Jesus Christ. So if you want to accept Christ as your personal Savior, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in thine heart that God is raising from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. Open your heart to receive Jesus as your personal Savior. Will you come? Will you come? The doors of the church are open. The doors of the church are open. Will you come? Will you come? Amen. You may be seated. call time. Would you come and lay your burdens at the altar? You could come and stand in as an intercessor for those who might not know the one who had pardoned their sins. Just come. If you want your blessing, Bring it to the altar. Brand new. If you want liberation, bring it to the altar. He will take care of Come to Don't let this moment pass you by. Don't let it pass you by. Purpose it in your heart to come to the altar. It's power and strength and, and numbers. Come on. Pass me not. Oh, 
gentle Savior. Hear our humble cry. While on others thou art calling, please, Master, do not pass us by. In the name of Jesus, Father, we pause to just say thank you. Father, we come to say we know we've fallen short and we've come short of your word. Forgive us, Master, creating us clean hearts and renew the right spirit. Holy Spirit, we thank you for visitation on this day. We thank you for the ones who have been delivered. We thank you for the ones minds have been changed. We thank you for hearts that have mended. We thank you for the word that has come forth. Your word says it will not return void. So we thank you that it will do everything that it was sent to do. Father, we ask that you breathe. Breathe on every situation. Breathe on every broken heart. Breathe on every illness. Breathe on every chain that needs to be broken. Breathe, Master. Thank you for being a living God. Thank you for doing only what you can do. We thank you, Lord, for being a big God. We thank you that there's nothing too hard for you. Father, we thank you now for resting in Macedonia. We thank you for touching the parking lot all the way to the poor pit. We bless you now, Master. There's none like you. Can't nobody do us like you can. Father, we bless you. We lift you up. We magnify you. Indeed, you're worthy. And Master, a few of your children have gathered. And I have no idea what the issue is. But I know that you know. And I know that you can bless individually. And I ask that you bless us collectively. Give us what we need, Master, to continue your work. Father, we pause to say that we thank you for the shepherd of this house. We thank you for everything that you give us to help us make it along the way. Father, everything that he pours out. Double it back. Thank you, Lord, for every prayer that he prays. Give him another to pray again. For as much as he loves, give him a a little more love. We thank you, Master. We bless you for First Lady. We thank you for the love that she showed. We thank you that she's not too big to sit around your people. We thank you that she's not too big to stop and pray. We thank you that she's not too big to give us a hug. We thank you that she's not too big to walk in what you've given her to walk in. Help her to continue her mate. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Master. And if you don't have anything to thank him for, I'll thank him by myself. If you don't have anything to glorify his name, I'll do it by myself. If you don't want what he has for you, I'll take it. Thank you, Lord. Touch every individual. Touch every minister. Touch, Lord, in the name of Jesus that we do pray. Amen. As you go back to your seat, how about praising? Go back to your seat giving praise. Amen. I don't know about y'all, but I feel like the weight has been lifted. Because we got clear-cut instructions on how to live the life that God wants us to live. He paid the ultimate sacrifice, and he asked us to give just a little bit back. And that's love. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Y'all all right? Y'all all right? Well, praise him then. That's what we come to do to celebrate Jesus. We come right today just to celebrate Jesus. Am I right, Freddie? Oh, you got that smile. You celebrating all by yourself. I get you. I'm right there with you, though. Amen. Reverend Thurman, thank you for that word. One of the most humble spirits you'll ever meet. Humble spirit. He do just what you ask. Now, that's a servant. That's a good servant. Dig and low, he get your approval today, right? I heard you say amen. Amen. I saw Deacon Style nodding over there, so he must be all right. Amen. All right, we're getting ready to exit at 1 o'clock, y'all. We did 1 o'clock, so you won't have so long to, to wait before you come back. We're going to feed you real good. I got Melly Mel on the grill. He's friend. He bought, look at him, he bought that thing from Florida. And when I tell y'all he's going to do it right, Man, we're going to thank him later on. Kevin, you're going to get full today now. I got to keep you around now. You're going to leave on me. Amen. But Reverend Andrews is going to close in his own way. Thank y'all so much for y'all participation today. of God and the sweet communion of his Holy Spirit rule, rest, and abide in our hearts forevermore. Let us all sing together. Yeah, let the church, let the church say amen. Ooh, say God.